Happy New Year. It's January 12th, 2024. This is the first BAM Weekly Muni Market Update of the year. I'm here with David Young from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. David, thanks for being here this week, uh, coming to us from the San Francisco office. Thanks, Mike. Uh, so a pretty busy week uh, in the uh, in the muni market and fixed income markets more generally. I think you're going to start. Uh, tell us about some of the economic data we saw. Sure. So, uh, you know, we saw the inflation data come out. Um, CPI actually came out hotter than expected to end 2023. Um, month over month, uh, I believe we saw, a, you know, it was up three tenth of a percent. Um, and then year over year, it was actually 3.4%. So, the, you know, both numbers coming in again, hotter than expected. Um, you know, I, I think this probably complicates things for the Fed a little bit um, as, you know, the inflation risks um, continue to persist. Uh, the market um, right now is pricing in about a two third probability that the first cuts going to come at the Fed meeting in March. Um, so, you know, as things progress and we get a little bit more data before that, um, we'll see how those numbers kind of uh, move around. Uh, you know, again, going back to CPI, immediately following that print this morning, uh, Treasury sold off, uh, you know, taking a look, the yields are reverting back to kind of where they were before um, the 10 years settling around 3.98% uh, and the um, the 30 year is actually around like a 4.18%. So, um, you know, Again, we saw it spike uh, a fair amount uh, and, and things coming back down to kind of previous levels, um, which is interesting when I look at the muni side. Um, all week, uh, the front end of the curve has been getting cut pretty good. Um, but when we look at kind of the 29 on out, um, that has been pretty steady. Uh, it's just kind of an interesting um, dynamic between treasuries. And uh, our secondary market counterparties are you know, seeing some of the weakness, but they're calling this a more tradable environment, which we find interesting as well. And I think one of those things, uh, one of the reasons maybe a more tradable environment is it just it is a more active uh, new issue market than we typically see at this time of the year. January is usually pretty quiet, but I think uh, we're we're well above most historic trends for volume so far in the month. What, uh, how much volume did you see this week? What uh, what kind of activity was, did you see in new issues? Yeah, so that leads us to uh, this week, we saw 12 billion of supply. Um, that was headlined by a $2.2 billion Jefferson County, Alabama deal. Um, you know, word on the street was that it, uh, the deal did very well. Um, you know, in some spots, it was, I believe, up to 15 times oversubscribed. Uh, but when we look at BAM, we had a great week as well. Uh, big week for us, 13 transactions, $280 million of insured par. Uh, and that was led by $186 million uh, City Colleges of Chicago Geo transaction by Loop. And then transitioning ahead to next week, uh, the nation will be observing uh, Martin Luther King Day on Monday. So it'll be a holiday shortened week. Um, what kind of activity do you expect in the rest of the week? Yeah, so we're seeing six and a half billion of supply. Uh, still a pretty good week, um, but you know, lighter than usual. Um, BAM is expecting 300 million of insured par. Uh, that's going to be led by the $220 million University of Tennessee student housing transaction, and that one's with uh, RBC. Very good. Okay, well, thanks for your uh, time and insights this week, David. Have a great weekend. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike.